The chain rule helps us compute the derivative of the composition of two or more functions. It says that if we have two functions f and g that are differentiable, more precisely g is differentiable at x and f is differentiable at g of x, then the composition of f and g is also differentiable at x. And you can find that derivative by evaluating the derivative of f at g of x and multiplying that by the derivative of g evaluated at x. Now, in such compositions, we call g, the function on the inside, the inner function, whereas f, the function on the outside, is called the outer function. And with this terminology, we can express what the chain rule says by saying that the derivative of the composition of two functions is the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function times the derivative of the inner function. Now, using Leibniz's notation and writing g of x as the variable u and f of u as the variable y, we can express what the chain rule says by writing that the derivative dy over dx equals dy over du times du over dx. For example, consider y equals f of u equals u to the n, and consider what happens when we dif differentiate this function u, that is a function of the independent variable x, with respect to that variable x. So feel free to pause the video and think about what this should look like. Hope you paused the video and thought about it, and realized that using the chain rule in Leibniz's notation, we have to compute on the right hand side the derivative of y with respect to u. So that is the derivative of u to the n with respect to u, which can be obtained using the power rule, and it gives us n times u to the n minus 1, and that is being multiplied by dy du over dx, that is. In case you are still wondering why it's called the chain rule, then let me demonstrate it using the composition of three functions. So now it's f of g of h of t that we are considering. So x itself is now a dependent variable of a function that is a function of the independent variable t. And the derivative of this composition with respect to that variable t, dy over dt, can be written using the chain rule as the product of these three derivatives, dy over du times du over dx times dx over dt. And now if I just uh, circle these expressions, these derivatives, all three of them, and then connect them like links in a chain by circling the common expressions, then uh, it's hopefully clear why it's called the chain rule. Now let's solve some problems. Use the chain rule to compute the derivative of f of x equals e to the sine of x. So pause the video and select your answer now. Hope you paused it and have selected for the derivative of e to the sine of x, e to the sine of x times the cosine of x. We can compute this derivative, for example, using the Leibniz notation and writing y equals e to the u, with u being the sine of x. And then the derivative that we are after, dy over dx, according to the chain rule, is dy over du times du over dx. Now, dy over du is the derivative of e to the u with respect to u, which is itself, according to a basic derivative, this needs to be multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x, so that is the derivative of sine of x with respect to x, which is the cosine of x, according to another basic derivative. All is left is to plug back in for u the sine of x to get e to the sine of x times the cosine of x for the derivative. Let's look at the next question. Use the chain rule to compute the derivative of the exponential function b to the x, where b is any positive base. Pause the video and select your answer now. Hope you paused it and have selected for the derivative of b to the x, b to the x times the natural logarithm of b. We can obtain this derivative by writing in Leibniz notation y being e to the u, with u being x times ln of b. So ln of b is just a number here. Now, then the derivative that we are after, dy over dx, according to the chain rule, is dy over du times du over dx. dy over du is the derivative of e to the u with respect to u, that is itself, according to a basic derivative, and du over dx is the derivative of x times the ln of b with respect to x, that is the ln of b, according to the constant multiple rule and the basic derivative. Now, substituting uh, x times ln of b back in for u, we get e to the x times ln of b times ln of b, where turning e, e to the x times ln of b back 
to the form b to the x, we get for the derivative b to the x times the natural logarithm of b, and now we can differentiate every exponential function. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I see you in the next one.